and I, guys. It is a lovely summer evening here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here. Bugs in a Jar Farm. It is a Sunday night. It is a Sunday night. August 22nd, 2022, I believe, or 21st, August 21st, somewhere in there. And uh, so since I did my Sunday sermon last night, I uh, was trying to figure out what am I going to, uh, how are we going to talk about the collapse of a planet tonight? But I have been saved. I have been saved uh, by my friends. I am uh, somehow, uh, <laughs> I get these emails from this Avaz, A-V-A-A-Z, not sure you how I got signed up with them. I guess they're these guys, they're always, they're somehow, they're, I, I, I think they're signing petitions to save the planet, and they're always hitting me up for money. So, uh, I usually don't, but I, I couldn't resist it. So I had an email, fires seen from space. Fires seen from space is what Avaz wants me to know. And here is the email. And you know, the more I got into this thinking, you know, finally, somebody doing something to save this planet. So, uh, never let it be said that Collapse Chronicles uh, does not uh, welcome all viewpoints here. And so, what is going on with the little lefties from avaz.org. Dear friends, dear friends, this is not a drill. Huge swaths of our planet are cooking in record-breaking heat waves. Raging wildfires, some visible from space, have ripped through the EU and the US and the worst drought in 40 years in Eastern Africa could push up to 20 million people who should never have been born into severe hunger. As the earth <coughs> scorches, <coughs> as the earth scorches, I think scorches, uh, now, when you scorch, you scorch something. I, I, I think the earth, is the earth being scorched, or is the earth scorching itself? I guess the earth is self-scorching. Uh, they, they need a copy editor, someone with a English degree at Avaz. Anyway. As the earth scorches, time is running out. I guess that window of opportunity is rapidly closing. Time is running out to avert an unimaginable catastrophe. Yeah, see the categories. What do you think, Grasco? Is time running out? Yes, you tell them. Time is running out to avert an unimaginable catastrophe. And his Tigger's friend, uh, Rascal. An unimaginable catastrophe, not just for anyone, but for life on our planet. How we respond right now, right now, this minute, will decide everything our survival could be hanging in the balance, exclamation point. We must not give up. We must not give up. Uh, we have all the solutions we need. We have every damn solution we need to, what is it, 
to stop the uh, catastrophe taking down life on the planet? What's missing? What is missing here? What is missing is the political will. And the best way to change that is with unprecedented people power. Yes, we need more people to save the planet. Yes, that's what we need is more people. And we will turn this freight train around. We just need some more people. More people power. It's a little dog power. Every now and then. So, over the coming months, advisors, this is, I guess, a new word, advisors, advisors all over the planet will throw everything at turning this around. And here is how. Okay. Number one, in Europe, we will organize a massive campaign urging governments to replace Russian gas with renewable energy, slashing emissions and revenues to the Kremlin's war machine. Number two, we will go all out to secure a landmark deal, a landmark deal, a landmark, not just any deal, but a landmark global deal to tackle the extinction crisis at a historic, a historic global summit in Montreal, defending noble savage rights and conserving half of the earth. There you go. We're gonna take half. We're going to take half and give the other half, you know, to all our fellow world things. I'm not sure which half the noble savages get. I've never really understood which half the noble savages get in this save half the earth. We're not going to save the planet, so let's save half the planet. If we could just save half the planet, you know, that's better than saving no planet at all. So it's always unclear which half of the planet do the noble savages, are, are they going to live in? Are they going to live in the half with honky? Or are they going to live in the half with, uh, you, you know, all our other fellow earthlings? It's never been explained to me. Would somebody explain to me which half of the planet the noble savages are going to live in? Because I want to go live in that half of the planet. All right. And, of course, number three. And in Brazil's upcoming election, we just did a, a rant a few days ago about the difference between Bozo Nero and this De Silva guy. You know, it's kind of the difference between Donald Trump and Joe Biden. Uh, anybody, any clueless moron thinking that this De Silva dude uh, is not a corporate whore, is a clueless moron, little greenwashed lefty. Anyway, I'm getting off uh, as, uh, as Donald Trump and Joe Biden both tend to do. I'm getting off of my cue here. Okay. And... In Brazil's upcoming election, which could decide the fate of the Amazon rainforest, our outstanding team will fuel a groundbreaking public engagement campaign to stand up to toxic lies, toxic lies, and get people to the polls, you know, to vote for De Silva. You know, the guy who was behind, uh, what, what, Belmonte Dam? You know, that dude? Uh, you know, that guy who shit-canned that, uh, that woman who was trying to do something to save the damn Amazon rainforest? He got rid of her. He brought in Belmonte Dam. And uh, you can expect more Belmonte Dams. Uh, it doesn't matter which one of those sons of bitches down there. Okay. So let's get to the brass tacks 
which means give us your money. Okay, if just 5,000, 5,000 of us make a small weekly donation, we can fund this work. And the more we raise now, the bigger it will be and the more impact we can have. We don't have long. Donate a weekly amount now to power this emergency effort to save everything we love. And then you have several choices here. I'll donate $1 weekly. I'll donate $2 weekly. I'll donate $3 weekly or other amount. So if you're not convinced yet, it goes on. The devastating impacts we are seeing on our ecosystems and livelihoods are happening with just one degree C rise in the planet's average temperature. We're on track to hit three and a half C warming by the end of the century. Kids born today, kids who never should have been born, you know, those kids being born today, you know, when I'm talking about people who should never have been born, people think I'm talking about sub-Saharan Africa, you know, I'm talking about any goddamn kid. Anyway, kids who never should have been born, who are born today, could grow up to witness a collapse of natural systems and our that our civilization depends on. The threats are huge. The threats are huge. But the next few months also have massive, massive opportunities to meet them. Europe is being rocked by an energy crisis that could supercharge fossil fuels or it could spark a renewable revolution. Avaz has a huge membership across Europe, and our climate team is already planning a massive push in EU capitals that will put the climate crisis at the center of decision making. You, you know, this is a lot you're getting for a dollar a week. But we ain't gonna stop there. After years of delay, governments, governments will finally meet to seek a global deal for nature. All right. Governments are finally, finally, after what about 300,000 years, after about 300,000 years of delay, governments will finally meet to seek a global deal for nature. Our advocacy team is preparing to flood, flood the talks with our members' voices from around the world, demanding not requesting, not asking, not being polite about it. It is time you can throw politeness out the window. It is time to demand. And we're demanding nothing short of bold action for the planet, or at least for half the planet, and ensure noble savages are represented so all their rights are defended too. So it still doesn't answer the question which side of the planet, which half do the noble savages get? I wonder if I send these guys a dollar, will they answer the question which half of the planet that we are boldly demanding action to save, which half do they get? Meanwhile, our team of campaigners in Brazil where we have nearly 20 million members is already 
rolling out an unprecedented election effort to ensure citizens have access to truthful information, you know, such as uh, De Silva, as he, he, you know, being the big cheerleader of the Belmonte Dam. And what did he say? What was that that he said about that giant catfish that I think is extinct? He said that the, you know these catfish that uh, have to migrate like salmon, two thousand miles each way. These these six foot, three hundred pound catfish. He said, just grow them in aquariums. That guy, you know. <clears throat> that truthful information which you are never, you will never hear one word of truth about uh, Bozo Nero's flip side, the lesser of two evils, w won't happen. To ensure citizens have access to truthful information in a battle between political forces intent on destroying the rainforest, you know, Bozo Nero, and those vowing to protect it. You know, if you consider building these giant hydroelectric dams and, and growing giant catfish uh, in aquariums, there you go, that, that's a good way to save their Amazon rainforest. The more we raise the bigger we can scale this crucial crucial push. So once again, here we go with the sales pitch. Donate a weekly amount now to supercharge this fight for our future. Okay. And you, if you think we're at the end, this is a long email, guys. Avaz has been at the forefront of efforts to protect half of our planet and secure action on the climate crisis since our founding 15 years ago. Over that time, the threats to, I guess, the whole planet, not just the half they're trying to save, but you know, the other half of both halves of the planet, I guess they're not, I don't know at this point, are, are they talking about half the planet? Are they talking about the whole planet? Are they talking about the two and a half planets we need to replace all of the crap that we're eating on this planet every year? What planet, I've lost track of what planet we're talking about now. All right. To protect half of our planet and secure action on the climate crisis since our founding 15 years ago, you have seen uh, how much action has been taken on the climate crisis since they started uh, asking for handouts 15 years ago. Over that time, the threats have grown, and so has the urgency. Let's make sure our campaigns and impact grow too. While there is still time to act. Before that window of opportunity, slam shut. Okay. With her. With her. With her. With her. With her. Hope, with hope and determination, signed Bert Maragona, Mike, Oscar, Diego, Pascal, Nax. I love that name, N-A-X, Nax. Don't forget Laura, Caitlin, Camille, Adela, and the whole of Oz team. P.S. This might be your first donation to our movement ever, which is exactly what it would be. But what a first donation! What a first donation, Sancho Banza. Did you know that Avaz relies entirely on small donations from members just like you? Just like you, Sancho Banza.
just like you, to save the planet. I mean, half the planet. That's why we are fully independent, nimble, nimble, and effective. Join the over one million people who have donated to make of Oz a real force of good in the world. Okay, and uh, if you want more information, they, here are some, uh, some links that they're offering. Okay, for more information, we have the New York Times article, UN Chief warns that humanity faces collective suicide over the climate crisis. Then how about the Guardian? Amazon rainforest will collapse if Bozo Nero remains president. Next, CNN. Yes, could Russia's war kickstart a renewable energy revolution? Okay, how about the Guardian? Why, why protecting noble savages can also help save the earth? Maybe that's from the Guardian. Maybe I will find out if I go on to that article, why protecting noble savages can also help save the earth. Maybe I can find out which half of the earth that we're going to save they're going to live in. Okay, how about the Globe and Mail? Montreal to host delayed COP15 summit to halt halt global biodiversity loss. And finally, from the BBC, the plan. The plan to turn half the world into a reserve for nature. Okay, so maybe it is the BBC where I can finally find out which half of the damn planet the noble savages get. Are they stuck with us honkies, with us planet-eating honkies, or do they get to hang out, uh, you know, with the monkeys that they can throw in the stew pot? But anyway, never let it be said that I don't. So I can't throw in a uh, a dollar bill each week. But uh, I think uh, my goodwill gesture towards a vise right there. Come on, guys, pony up, pony up. Since I'm too uh, cheap to pony up, come on, one dollar, one dollar for these guys. You can do it. Answer the log. I need some ice cream. Are you ready for some ice cream? Some of that save half the planet ice cream? Let's go save half the planet by eating a half a scoop of ice cream. See how many uh, half the planet killing ingredients are in our half scoop of ice cream. Bye guys. Would you stop? Sancho, that's not, that's kind of a rude thing to be doing on camera. Kind of rude. Bye guys.